Hello and welcome to my Friendship Barbarian Guide for Diablo 2. This will be my last build I will showcase, since this is also the last uh, character I have. I will first go over the stats now. Enough strain to wear your gear. Um, my highest strain requirement item is my worm height, fortitude. So uh, actually low it scores, so you don't really need much strain on this character at all. Now the thing with Prince Barbarian is that you could go to like 200 strain and then get less vitality if you want more damage, since one strain is one enhanced, uh, one percent enhanced damage. But it's up to yourself if you want more vitality or more damage. Figure that out for yourself. It's up to you. Now uh, you don't need any dexterity if you're going with axes. But if you're using swords, which I am, then you need to use dexterity. Reef requires 136 dexterity, so that's what I use. Now, vitality, I put rest of the points in here. I have 2020 life unbuffed, so that's quite a bit. Now, the tag rating, ah, it's not so good. You could go with angelic. Uh, set items for even more attack rating, so you can uh, always hit them up, or at least usually always hit them. Now defense, you're not very defensive on this character, you can't wear a shield, so you're gonna be taking some damage, and I also don't have uh, max resistance. It's just not really possible with these set items I have. Now you could use um, uh, you could use a chain of honor, uh, get some more resist if you're going with ubers on this build, which you definitely can. Uh, this character can kill ubers with maybe some other items like the chain of honor. Now for the gear, I'm using draculds. You could use some maybe craft gloves, uh, blood gloves, or you could use laying of hands, but I like to use draculds just for the life tap and the other decent stats then I'm using a Bolkatos wedding band now you could use another ring, a dual leech ring or even a, another raven ring raven frost ring but uh, I like this one, just didn't have really anything better but the best one is definitely getting a dual leech ring with maybe some life and uh, strain on it now I'm using string of ears, uh, I like this spell the most cause uh, it has pretty much the same stats as Vodungu, but also a high uh, leech, 8% on mine. This one is nearly perfect, so it's pretty good. Raven Frost, just because it's always good to not be frozen, especially as this build, because you're not very uh, uh, defensive, so you can't really take a lot of hits if you get frozen. Now, Gorse, always good boots, the best choice really, there's no, nothing to discuss there. Fortitude Wormhide, you can make it in an Archon plane as well, uh, it doesn't really matter. Try to get a decent stats, this one is kinda low, not the best one. But it is a uh, roll with uh, decent uh, defense, cause it's 14% enhanced in a, in a Wormhide, yeah. Then I'm using Aerith, this is the best helmet, uh, I don't really think you can get better. Uh, the, the most perfect ones are Fairy with a sword room in them, but it's kinda expensive. Uh, Normal ones also decent enough, and they go for pretty much cheap. So get this one always. Now, uh, Highlights Wrath Amulet is the best o overall amulet. You can't really get anything better. Um, you could go Mars for even more resist if you're going Ubers, but um, go for Highlights Wrath. Now you could also use uh, Admas Scarab to break physical immunes, but uh, don't. I'll go over that why. Now for the swords, this is the hard part with Frenzy Barbarian. I chose to go with a Grief and a Death, both in a faceplate, cause I like the looks and uh, I kinda bane boy the Grief. I really like the Grief weapon, just it's overall the best uh, damage weapon for general play. Um, you can't really go wrong with the Grief. And now for the offhand, I wanted Death, but I didn't really like it in a Colossus Blade. Um, just because I read about it a bit and I thought it would be nice looks also to have uh, the death in a faceplate so I got this one uh, the grief can be low rolled it doesn't really matter uh, it's it's fine even if it's a low roll mine is not the best one 
um, you can try get a decent death. Uh, this one is not good, but it's okay. Now for the inventory. Now you just want war cry skillers to try get some life on those. It helps a lot. Because um, after your bows and stuff, your life goes insane. Especially if you have like 40, 30 life on these skillers. Now poison charms. Always good to have. So you can stop mobs from healing. And then you have your torch and your nihilus. And that's pretty much the gear. Can just quickly showcase my mirror as well. I'm using a reverse tall. Now this is why I don't use Alat Mascara. Because uh, of the reverse tall. It can break physical immunes pretty easily. Procs a lot on the Merc. And then I use a uh, Durs because of the kill blow. It's nice to kill bosses with. And then I have Gulliam Space for even more killing blows and damage. And that's about it for the gear. Now I will do a quick run in Carriage Century. Now I'm using Frenzy, but I also have um, what's called Berserk to kill uh, physical immunes even better. Now as you can see on my life, I pretty much instantly heal myself for all the leech. It is a very high leech build, so you don't really die even if you don't have the best survival. And with the really high running speed, you don't really need Enigma. Now some people say you could use Enigma on this character for general gameplay, but uh, I don't really feel the need for it. It's okay for me to not use Enigma. Now, as with most of my builds, I try to play a character century run in about 3 minutes. So let's definitely aim for that as well. Just gonna get my Merc with me, he got a little stuck. Okay, let's uh, clock this time. And I'm beginning now then. So let's hope we can clear it in about 3 minutes at least. That's kind of a good time for most builds. Now as you can see I take a lot of damage now and I'm also getting poison. But it doesn't really matter too bad. Um, my leech is insane on this character. Now the problem with this build is that it does have good single target damage. But it likes AoE. So other builds like a uh, Lightning Sorceress or Yevason or even a uh, say a Nerpromancer can probably clear faster, but um, the single target is awesome. That's really something that makes it shine out. Kind of like a Sailor Paladin. This build also gears a lot like a, a Sailor Paladin actually. So if you have some lift or gear from your Paladin, you can quickly use it on your Friendship or Borean. And I will also be doing a full clear. I try not to skip any mobs so you can really see how fast the doors clear. Because sometimes uh, it can be a bit annoying to see a guy say he clears fast and then he skips a lot of mobs. Now, there can be some mana problems if you're facing uh, what's it called? Uh, mobs that uh, leech mana, but it's not too bad. And if you're in such a situation, you can use mana potions or even go with another ability like double swing. And then kill the mobs until they stop leeching with double swing. Ah, too bad they got stuck in the lava thing here. Can't really reach them, have to move on. It's a bit annoying when that happens.
Okay, it's going quite slow so far. It's not really the uh, fastest time. But at least you don't really need Enigma for sure. Now for the nasty pack, the one that usually kills my characters if I don't watch out. On this build it's not really a problem. So much life leads, it's really insane. Now for the last gate. Okay, now just these guys. Now as you can see I'm pretty much just standing in the really nasty pack here and I don't really drop my life. Again the leech on this character is out of the world really. It you really can't die. Now let's see the boss damage. Okay, nearly died there. First damage is a problem. That's a bit unfortunate. My Merc also died there. <laughs> and now I died as well. Now, as you can see, the boss damage is pretty decent. Uh, it's not as fast as some of the other characters, but it's not too bad as well. Now, first damage is a problem, as you saw here. Um, that's just the way it goes sometimes. <laughs> Well, now I've seen the build and I hope you liked it and goodbye.